Good. So without further ado, I'd like to go over to our presenter of today, Brian McNeil. Good morning, I should say, Brian. Uh, yes, that's right. Good morning. <laughs> It's, uh, what it's time is it? It's noon. It's 12 o'clock noon. 12 o'clock. I was not sure. We were on the edge. Yeah, Indeed. Exactly. That's right. So, Brian, um, you're presenting on the Twitter sweepstakes. Um, and, uh, I'll just pass you the control. So, thanks to introduce us and uh, lead us uh, into the presentation. Thank you, Luke. Okay. Welcome, everybody. My name is Brian McNeil Smith with Easy Promos. And I have the pleasure of presenting to you the new tool that we've released called the Twitter Sweepstakes app. Uh, Luke mentioned uh, how to uh, pose your questions uh, throughout the webinar as your questions arise. Please type them in, and at the end of the webinar, I'll address them. If I can't get to your question, we will answer uh, it separately in an email, but we'll try to do our best. Okay, so let's jump in. There's two types of promotions that you can run. You can do um, a sweepstakes based on retweets or a sweepstakes among your followers. So if you're looking at the retweets, what you do is you perform a random sweepstakes among users who retweet one or more of your tweets. We'll get into this a bit more. You can also filter the finalists so that it only includes the people that are your followers. When you're doing a sweepstakes among followers, you're basically performing a random sweepstakes amongst all users of your Twitter profile. Um, I wanted to focus your attention for a second at the bottom of the slide. Sweepstakes among users who use a particular hashtag is also a, a way to run a sweepstakes. This is a separate app. It's existed in our, in our portfolio for some time. We won't be addressing that. Those are real-time tracking promotions. We won't be addressing that in this webinar. If you have questions about that, Contact one of us at Easy Promos, we'll be happy to help you. Okay, so what are the benefits for your brand? There are three key benefits. So loyalizing followers, getting them to come back, participate in sweepstakes, but also to see your content. These sweepstakes allow you to build followers fairly fast, and also the posts that you're um, contributing through your sweepstakes can go viral. We all know the benefits of that. But how about you, the administrators? What are the benefits? Well, we've provided you a tool that's really simple to you that will save you a lot of time in management of these promotions. And you can create sweepstakes and publish the winners in five clicks just by following a guided process. You get transparency of your random draw. Uh, you ensure that your Twitter regulations are followed and met. And you have tools to manage the participants. And if you have any questions and need some support, you've got the Easy Promos team to, to contact. So let's look at the main features. Let's break them down. You can manage your blacklist of users. If you don't want people, certain accounts to participate, you can build and manage this blacklist. You can, if you're running several contests you, and you don't want previous winners to have a chance to win again, you can exclude them. You can do it through a filter or you can do it manually by picking off, um, you know, one address at a time. And I can show you a bit about that in, later in the webinar. You can define the number of winners and alternates. And you can administer a certificate of validity. So when people ask you, how did you pick your winners? you have the answer. And you can customize a winner's page that you can publish. And when you've customized this page and you've got your winners, you can also public, uh, publicize that to Twitter and Facebook. Now, this I think is significantly important is that we also provide a tool for you to create and host your terms and conditions. And we'll look at that soon as well. So let's look at the features of the uh, sweepstakes for retweets. What you can do is you can filter this so that uh, only followers uh, can participate. And you can include up to 10 tweets. Uh, it says retweets, but you can actually include up to 10 tweets throughout your contest, and all of those retweets uh, will be incorporated into the contest. 
and you have the ability to control duplicate users. So if you're doing 10 retweet or sorry, 10 tweets throughout your contest, you may find that some of the same users come back and retweet at those additional tweets. That would be against, to give those people additional entries would go against the Twitter rules, so you can exclude those duplicates and stay within the guidelines. What about the limitations? These are set by Twitter. So uh, with the retweet contest, you can include up to 2,000 retweets. That's the maximum. You can do, you can include 10 tweets, and those 10 tweets, they need to be within a week in, in age. So they cannot be older than one week. For your sweepstakes of followers, there's a maximum of 75 followers. The, if you have more than 75,000 followers, then you will not be able to use this tool for the followers sweepstakes, but you can still do retweet contests. So let's do, let's take a quick look at pricing. With easy promos, the first sweepstakes is free. From the second sweepstakes on, here's how the pricing goes. If you're running a, a retweet contest, it's free up to 50 retweets. And then between 50 retweets and that maximum of 2,000, it's $15 per promotion. The sweepstakes among followers is free up to 2,000 followers. So if your account, if your Twitter account has 2,000 or fewer followers, it's free. Then between 2,000 followers and that cap of 75,000 followers, you're looking at $15 per promotion. And also note at the bottom of the slide, we have a release special. So all sweepstakes on the Twitter platform are free until September 1st, 2015. So how do you get started? You access uh, our panel at admin.easypromosapp.com. I will show you this in a moment. Once there, you sign up. If you're not already registered into Easy Promos, then what you do is you, you register with your Facebook account. It's a real quick one-step process. And once you, once you are in the administration panel, then what you do is you create a new promotion and select Twitter sweepstakes. We'll go through this. So how do you set it up? Once you're in that panel, you log in with your Twitter name, the account that you want to use. Then you select the type of sweepstakes uh, based on retweets or on followers. And then you select your tweets. For retweets, you're going to select uh, the tweets that you have available within a week. They may not all be there uh, because you may not have tweeted already. Um, you may be looking at this in advance of your promotion. And that's fine. You can go back and you can add those tweets into your contest as you've created them. So define the user as the step number four. You define the user um, exclusion rules. If any apply, there's a couple of check boxes that you'll, uh, you'll tick off. And then you will select uh, the number of winners that you want and the number of alternatives as well. So how do you publish the winners once you've performed your sweepstakes? Keep in mind, you'll get a chance to do a test and then you can select your actual winners. And then when you publish them, what will happen is the app will give you a URL to show you the certificate of validity. You'll also get a URL that shows you and your audience a winners page. This winners page is completely customizable, and I'll show you this. And you'll have buttons as well to share this page on Twitter and Facebook. So let's go take a look at a demo. And Luke, I might need your support here. Okay, Brian, yes. Um, I'll take I, it I back to the main screen because that will make it easier. On the left top. Okay. Go ahead. It's, it's grayed out for some reason. Could you retry it? There we go. Yes. Okay. Great. So, uh, I'm now sharing my screen. Yes. And for people who don't have an account with us, you would head over to our website at easypromosapp.com and click on this login button from any page in the website. 
it's going to take you to a dashboard and log you in to a panel where you can see all of your active promotions. And as you can see, I have promotions down the page here. What I'm going to do to do the, the Twitter sweepstakes is I will click on sweepstakes here. And then I'm going to click on create a new sweepstakes. Uh, I'm going to delete this one first. And so I'm going to click on create a new sweepstakes. And in here you have different types. You can do a sweepstakes with our, our app that allows you to run it on a website or a Facebook page. You can do a timeline sweepstakes. Today we're looking at the Twitter sweepstakes. So you click on that. And I'm already logged in as Easy Promos, but I'm going to actually log out and show you the process. So I connect with Twitter. I get this pop-up. And you may be a manager of multiple Twitter accounts. So to, as you're going through this, just to save time, you can verify what you're logged into as by looking at this logo up here. I want to select our Easy Promos account so I see the Easy Promos logo. You'll see whatever logo uh, your account that you're, you're logged into at the time. So I'm going to authorize the app. And it's redirecting. It's going to accept automatically. And so now I'm connected to my Easy Promos account. Uh, for Twitter. And I've got the option to select retweets and followers. So let's go in this case with retweets. I currently have three tweets that exist for this particular week. And I'm going to select, um, ah, there used to be another one available here that had several tweets, but I don't see it accessible at the moment. So we're going to um, select the first one. And what I'm going to do is show you I can also select additional ones. So in this panel, I see that I've selected this one tweet to be part of the contest. I can add tweets to the sweepstakes. So I'm going to add, I'm going to click on that and add. It'll pull up that list again. And I'm going to select the other the other ones as well. So now I've selected them. And I can see the time decay here. So this one is one hour old, and I've got four days and five days. And I could get rid of them if I wanted to as well, or I could go and view the tweet. Then I want to set my exclusion rules. So I'm going to have a blacklist in this case. Uh, I'm going to exclude previous winners if I've been running lots of contests. And I'll exclude non-followers in this case as well. So if uh, we didn't want a particular winner, we could manually search them out and, and remove them as well. So, so this will pull up Easy Promos, and I could select this. Uh, I'm not because I've, for some reason, I think in my testing, I've lost access to the one tweet that had multiple tweets on it. So I'm going to need Easy Promos as a participant in here. So I'm not going to select that um, at the moment. But I could remove them from the winners list. Then I go down here and I select uh, one winner for this contest and let's say two alternates. So I save changes and then I continue. And now I can test this. It's extracting the finalists. And there's the test. So you can see the winner, and you can see the two participants. Uh, sorry, uh, alternates. So let's go back, and we're going to carry out the actual sweepstakes. And now this is official. So it's produced the winners and the alternates. And here are the links to the Certificate of Validity. And I'm going to click on that and show you what it looks like. So it shows the information. It was a contest of retweets, the reference number, the title, the date and time stamp, and then your winner and alternates. And below that, we can see that we have a winner's page. And let's quickly take a look at what that looks like. 
So you have a customizable graphic at the top, and you have your winners, and then this content you can change as well. I also want you to take note, there's a link here to the viewing the certificate of validity. So you would publish this, you could share it, in this case on Facebook, Twitter, or you could grab the link and put it anywhere. And you can also edit it. So let's click on that pencil. And here you have your options to change the title and the description, and you can upload your picture as well, or a custom graphic. So let's back out of there. And so that's how you do your Twitter contest. And it will show up uh, accessible to you in your, in your promotions panel. Before we leave this panel, I wanted to talk to you about terms and conditions. Here's the terms and conditions link. And because you're going to be doing your tweets before you pick your winner, and you might run a contest for a week, um, you're going to want to come here and set out your terms and conditions. So I would go here to create new terms and conditions in the green button, type in a title. So this could be webinar, and then title is just test and test. And so I save that. Let's back up, and now I've just created that right here, and I've got a short link, and I can copy that short link and add it to my tweets so that it joins the contest. Um, just to give you an example, here's um, a business that ran a recent one. Just called her up and said, hey, try this out. She tried it for a couple of days, and here's the post and she received 354 retweets and some favorites. And then the stats on this, uh, the total impressions of 6,702, engagement was 714. You can see the rest of the figures here. Followers were 51. And there was no other promotion involved in this. It was simply just tweeted. It, this was in between her newsletters, that, so she didn't have any other outreach. And the other thing to note is that if you go down the page and you see, you know, what is normal activity, you can see that there's not, you know, that this is good content, but the life of tweets is quite low. So um, these contests kind of are a game changer for engagement on Twitter. And um, now these retweets, you know, are capped at 2,000. So if you are a brand, if you've got, if you've got good engagement, you'll quickly go up to that 2,000 level and start to get a lot of good exposure through Twitter. So I am now going to go back um, and I think uh, Luke, you said, oh, there it is. Okay, I found the stop share button. Okay, Luke, I'm ready to go back to the slides. Yeah, we have the slides in front of you. And how do I make them full screen? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, okay, great. So I'm just going to go to the next slide here. And we are going to take a look at ideas and recommendations. So um, Twitter sweepstakes are quick. They last, say, up to a week and not more than a week. You might do a, a sweepstakes in an afternoon. Um, when you're doing these posts uh, on or these tweets, you're going to include your deadline. You're going to include a link to the terms and conditions. Use generic hashtags to reach more people. The hashtag sweepstakes or winners or win or competition or Twitter contest will get you more exposure. Uh, do your own research on, on the hashtags that you feel will bring you that exposure. Use unique hashtags if you're working with, uh, um, say, Hootsuite or TweetDeck and you want to follow up on the real overall uh, participation of your, of, you know, how people are tweeting your retweets, then you could have a good view through those platforms and therefore use a hashtag to do that follow up. And include your prize in the hashtag as well. So tweets should not be more than 120 characters. This is so that th those participants can actually retweet. And try to include a picture or an image 
on the tweet that promotes your prize, gives people a visual to look at. Um, so here's an example of a, of a tweet. So hashtag sweepstakes for free samples, there's your content. Um, how to participate, retweet and follow, you might find ways to condense that. There's your deadline with your time, your date and time. Terms and conditions, there's your link. You might condense terms and conditions to PNC. And then you have your hashtag with your products, in this case, free samples. And then you've got um, the ability to tweet up to 10 times uh, for your contest. So let's say you're a small business and you put a tweet out there. The life of a tweet isn't all that great. So if it's not getting traction, you can, throughout the week, you can do this 10 times. And, you know, we suggest doing that to try and get that traction that you're looking for. Um, don't incentivize users to tweet several times. It's against the Twitter regulations. So the app will look after you, but, you know, just don't ever use language that says, hey, tweet this several times, because you can't reward them. It's not within the Twitter regulations. Set goals for uh, sweepstakes among users. So here's a, here's a strategy for, um, for followers, for a follower contest. We'll carry out a sweepstakes when we reach 2,000 followers. Once you get to 2,000 followers, you pull the trigger and you, and you reward people with that prize, and then you publicize that you've done so. And then, of course, for retweets, um, what you could do is educate people that you're going to do something on a weekly basis. Have them come back and look for that content of yours where they can participate. And perform sweepstakes among users during the entire week and, and, and do that weekly. Um, and uh, we're going to start the question and answer uh, period. Um, I do want to thank you for attending. And uh, Luke, do we have any questions that we can address? Yes, I was muted. Um, thank you, Brian. And um, what we'll do, first of all, we'll go back to the main screen to make it easy for people to uh, submit their questions. So just to make clear, here we go. Because now you see the Q&A panel clearly on the bottom right, right there. And we'll um, read out the questions that we okay, got I already. Okay, I see two questions uh, that I can address here. One is, uh, you have an app for Facebook, correct? Yes. So this app that we're talking about today is for Twitter contests. Our other apps are uh, for Facebook. They're also for websites. In both cases, it, all of those other apps can be um, put on a tab on Facebook. And at the same time, they can also be put in a widget and put on a website or on a microsite. Uh, EasyPromosApp.com is a good place to find out all of the different apps we have among 18 of the apps and uh, with different features and characteristics. We have another question uh, from Leanne, which is, how do you ensure employees don't win the sweepstakes? When you do um, your uh, setup, inside the app, and if I go to, oh, I'm sorry, I thought maybe I was sharing the screen, but I wasn't. Um, when, you, when you go to your, to your setup, you're going to have the option to do a manual blacklist. So you're going to have the Twitter handle, or you're going to have to gather the Twitter handle for your employees and put that in the blacklist so that when you process your winners, it does not show up or they do not become a finalist. And I hope that uh, answers your question. So folks, um, if there's no more questions, what we're going to do is we are going to publish a replay of this in our blog. And we're going to also have some other great information for how you can utilize this app. And I encourage you to go out and try the app. It's free. Give us your feedback. Let us know how we can support you. And I personally look forward to working with you. And again, thank you for attending this webinar. Have a great day. Brian, there was one uh, question, sorry, um, that came to me through the chat. Um, it said, great app. Uh, can you please remember the pricing for this app? So I think you may have not mentioned it, but could you... I will be happy to. Yes, the app is free for everybody until September 1st, 2015. After that time, 
the if you're doing a retweet contest, it's free up to 50 retweet, retweets per contest, and it's $15 per contest between 50 retweets and the cap of 2,000. And if you're doing a followers contest, it's free up to accounts with 2,000 followers, and then it's $15 per use between the 2,000 uh, users or followers, sorry, and 75,000 followers. Okay. Meanwhile, there was another question that came in from Sinead asking, how do you check the retweets? Okay. I'm not sure what the question is asking um, in terms of how do you check the retweets. If you want to monitor your campaign, you can use tools like Hootsuite uh, or TweetDeck. Um, you can also, when you pick the tweets that you are uh, using in your contest, what the app will do is it will process your winners from those people who have retweeted, but I'm not sure if your uh, monitor use. Okay, if that's the same question I believe it is, then if you're gonna monitor use, our suggestion is what you do is include a hashtag and, that you can follow and, and follow that on a program like Hootsuite or TweetDeck. Okay, thank you. Um, meanwhile, there was another question that came to me um, asking about the link for the recorded webinar. And I can actually mention that it will be posted as, uh, Brian, I think you mentioned it, it will be on the blog of EC Promos. Correct, yeah, it will be. Uh, it, you can go into the website, go into blog, and you will find an update uh, to the blog, which will include this information about this webinar and you'll see a replay right inside that. Um, you can actually mention this asking the website for it. If you like, you can chat it to all participants, if that's possible, Brian. Okay, so I can chat that to all participants. Yes. Put it in the chat and select all participants. Go ahead. Okay, so... There's it the should website. be there, yeah, within 25 and I see, uh, Carlos just put in there, or sorry, there's a, I, can, I can copy and paste this one, which is the English version of the blog. Okay. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We'll uh, send a newsletter uh, as well, which will include a link to the post in the blog. So if you are receiving our newsletter, you will receive this. If not, please uh, take up our newsletter and you will uh, be able to receive this type of information going forward. Great. I don't see further questions at this stage. I think we're good to round off, otherwise, Brian. Okay, thank you, Luke. Thank you, everybody, for your attendance. Uh, this has been uh, great to be able to put this information out there, and we hope that you uh, benefit from the app and build your business. Signing off.